Hello. Welcome to this application video of timers. In this video, we'll see how we can use some timers operands in a practical project. Alright. Here, we have a tank, which can be filled and drained by two valves. Let me take you to the environment with factory IO. Here is a valve, if I actuate this valve, it will fill the liquid in this tank. It's a digital actuator, it will be just on or off. Here is a discharge valve. So if I actuate this valve, this will discharge the liquid, from this tank to the underground. Also, here we have a panel. Now let's define the project. In other word, what we can do with this panel. Here is an emergency button, which can stop this system immediately. This push button is used to turn the fill valve on, and this normally close push button turn on discharge valve. Next, here we have two selectors. This is auto manual selection. In the manual mode, every valve will be on, until its push button is pressed. In the auto mode, when a push button is pressed, the related valve will be on for a specified time. 10 or 20 seconds which can be chosen by next selector. Now let's design this plant. First open factory IO. Click on open, here, we can see previous projects. Click on scenes, now, we can see some designed plant which can be selected and used. In this project, I start with this. Filling tank with timers. Here are my fill and discharge valves. Now, I want to modify this control box. First remove this displayer. Now insert an emergency and two selectors. Now click here to see and modify tags. These are our emergency, fill and discharge tags. Click on selector tag to modify. This selector determine two states, auto and manual mode. Also I change the selector tag to time 10 and 20 second. Now, let's start programming. First let me to define my PLC input output tags. Here, 
we have five equipment, which must be connected to PLC inputs. Pay attention, each selector has two modes, and will need to two PLC inputs. So, based on this control box, we need seven PLC inputs. So, first I define suitable tags for my PLC inputs. Also, we have two fill and discharge valves, which must be connected to PLC outputs. Alright, these are my inputs outputs tags which are used at the factory IO and TIA software. Let's start programming. Until now, we have written our programs in main block. In OB1. It means first organization block. Then, we could divide it our program to some networks, to have a better program. Here, like previous videos, at the first network, we have a block which is started with FC. It means function. This function contains some program codes which enable us to use factory I.O. beside PLC SIM. As you see, in this project, we're going to use two functions. When the manual mode is selected, this function will be run, which include a suitable program for this mode. And when the automatic mode is selected, this related function will be executed. Now let's see how we can define a function in TIA software. In the program blocks, click here. Select function, then define a name for that. First I'm going to write a program for manual mode. So I write manual underscore function. Now click on OK to open this function. As you see, here, we can write our program, like main block. Also this function is appear in the left side, in the program blocks folder. My program will call manual function. As you see, in this mode, when fill or discharge push button are pressed, they will turn on its related valve. Pay attention, in factory IO, the discharge push button is normally close, so I have used a normally close contact here. Sometimes, based on the industrial process, we need to consider some safety conditions in our program. For example, suppose the fill and discharge valve, cannot be on simultaneously. For this condition, a normally close contact of discharge valve, is inserted in the first line. Let's see how this program works. When fill push button is pressed, the virtual power reach to this contact. If the discharge valve is off, this contact will pass the virtual power. So the fill valve will change to on. But if the discharge valve is on, it makes this contact change to open, so the virtual power won't reach to fill valve. With the same reason, I insert a normally close contact of fill valve in the second line. It's expected you able to write this simple program, in the first function like this. I'm in first function. Now open main block. Here, in the network 2. I insert manual selector contact and my function. So when the manual mode is selected, this function will be run. As you see, 
you can right click on each function to open and see its program. Alright, this my program for the manual mode. Now I am going to use another function for the automatic mode. Now let's see my program for automatic mode in the second function. At the first line, when the fill push button is pressed, it active a pulse timer with this preset time. So it turn the fill valve on for a specified time. Also, with second and third line, we can change preset time of this timer to 10 or 20 seconds. Like previous function, here, I insert a normally close contact of discharge valve before pulse timer and fill valve contact. Alright, this program turn on fill valve in auto mode. As you see, we need a similar program for discharge valve with another pulse timer. Pay attention, here a normally close contact is used, because the discharge push button is normally close. Now, in this function, Write the auto program like me. Then open main block, and call the auto function in the third network. Finally, in the last network of main block, I'm going to use emergency to reset all timers and outputs. Now my program is complete. Let me transfer that to a virtual PLC. Now let me connect factory IO equipment to virtual PLC. First I click on configuration. Here I select my PLC type and also change number of its inputs outputs. Now I connect equipment to virtual PLC based on my programs, in other words based on my PLC tag tables.
All right, let's start simulation. As you see, this selector determines which function is executed in the program. First I select manual mode. Let's test push buttons. As you see, when I press fill or discharge push buttons, the fill or discharge valve will be on respectively. Now, I select auto mode, and then, open auto function. In this mode, I can change the preset time with this selector. In auto mode, when I press fill or discharge push button, related valve will be on for the specified time. 10 or 20 seconds. Now, the discharge is on, so based on my program, I can't turn on fill valve, until the discharge valve change to off. Also when the emergency is activated, all timers and outputs are reset. Thanks for watching. In next video we'll start counter operation. Take care of yourself.